Hi FST friends. So here we go. We're talking about um, factorials and permutations today. Okay. And so um, let's get into it and let's remember you can pause this anytime if you need to slow down or whatever you need. Okay. So uh, the factorial of a number is the product. Remember that means multiplication of the natural numbers less than or equal to the number, okay? And factorial in math class looks like this. It looks like an exclamation point. So here's an example for us. We say six factorial. I know this looks like, if you were in English class, this would look like six, but it's not six like that. It's six factorial, okay? And so what this means is, is it's the product of the number that's listed and all the natural numbers whoops, that come underneath it all the way on down to one, okay? And so it's when you multiply those all together. So six factorial is six times five times four times three times two times one. Six factorial is 720, okay? Um, all right, so let's just kind of um, just think about that for a moment. And as you're thinking about that, it would be really helpful if you could run and go grab yourself a calculator. You can also grab Desmos, okay? And so if you're look, taking a look at my calculator, do you see the three button right there? Okay, do you see what's right above it? Do you see how it says X with an exclamation point? That's where my factorial key is, okay? So if I wanted to type this out, instead of having to go six times, five times, four times, three times, two times, one, I can actually, on my handy-dandy calculator here, just type in 6, okay? And then to get to that factorial button, see how it's above the 3? So I have to go second and then hit that, and it will tell me that it is, in fact, 720. It saves some time, okay? And that's very helpful if we did a bigger factorial, like 12 factorial. You wouldn't want to sit there and go 12 times 11 times 10 all the way on down to 1, right? Okay, the other thing you can do is you can use Desmos either on your phone or um, on your computer. Okay, pull it up. And so if you just type in 6, okay, and then Desmos knows if you just go to the, um, to the screen where you have the alphabet, of course, you can see the um, exclamation point over here, okay? And so if you just hit the exclamation point, Desmos knows what that means in math class, and it will also tell you that it is 720. Okay, so let's take a look at some um, an example first. So three people are in a race. How many ways can they finish first, second, and third? Okay, so we have three finishers. So how many uh, choices did we have for first place? We had three. Okay, so someone finishes there. So then that leaves how many choices do we have for second? Okay, and then how many choices do we have for third place? We have one. In other words, the answer to this problem is three factorial. In other words, the answer to this problem is six. Okay, so let's take a look at what a permutation is, okay? And so a permutation is a selection of a group of objects in which order is important, okay? So the number of permutations of items taken, uh, of n items taken r at a time is given by this formula, okay? So it's a little n right here. This is the total number of, of items. And then we put the p here to represent permutation. Um, I like to think of this as pick and rank and order, okay? This many of them. Okay, and I just wanted to point out to some textbooks, write it like this, okay? And then in some places, you'll see that it looks like this, okay? So it's just a preference of authors. It's just a, you know, a, a, your own preference, but both of these things mean the same thing, okay? And so let's just come over here for a moment, and let's take a look at a couple more examples of permutations. Okay, so in this example, there are 10 people in a race. How many ways can they finish first, second, and third? Okay, so let's just remember our formula. N permutation R is N factorial over N minus R factorial. Okay, and in this case, how many people in total did we have in our race? We had 10, so that's our N. And then we want to pick and rank one, two, three of them. Okay, so it's 10 P3, okay, 10 permutation of 3. And so using our formula, that's 10 factorial 
over 10 minus 3 factorial, okay, which is, I should really put the factorial over here, which is 10 factorial over 7 factorial, okay, and I just want to write this out so you can see the whole thing. This is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So you can see 7 cancels with 7, 6 cancels with 6. In fact, all of this will cancel out with all of this. The answer is really just going to be 10 times 9 times 8, which hopefully that's what you were thinking um, already. And of course, 10 times 9 times 8, let me find the answer here in my notes, um, is of course 720. Okay, all right, so let's look at our we problem here. Okay, so we, um, let's see, we are, we have five students starting an FST math club, and how many ways can they select a club president, a vice president, and a secretary? Okay, so there's five people total, and then there's three people we want to give distinct positions to. Okay, so I think this one is going to be 5P3, okay? Five, out of five people, let's pick and rank, let's permutation, three of them. So that's 5 factorial over 5 minus 3 factorial, which is really 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial. Okay, and when you go ahead and punch that out, I think you will get 60. Okay, all right. And I just want to put how that um, works out if you're working without a calculator, of course. So 5 factorial is this, 2 factorial is this, this can simplify, that can simplify, and so the answer is really 5 times 4 times 3, which is 60. Okay, so pause it real quick. Let's try the you all. Okay, how many ways can you choose a CFO and a manager for your new company uh, of which you have nine employees, you have a nine person team? Okay, so pause it, give that a try. <clears throat> I think you should be getting 72. All right, good luck, get to the practice.